Yo, we are live again. Two shows in one week. Um, I got a very special guest here. J Don. Yeah, Raw yeah, Dog yeah. Entertainment. <laughs> you know what it is. I'm your host, Kush McLeod. Um, how this show works is um, because it's live. You get to ask the man himself some questions if I don't reach the topic that you want to know. Any questions. Yo, he'll answer anything. He don't give a fuck. Travel six hours down to come here to do this stuff with the fam, so answer any questions. <laughs> Jadon, fuck that guy. All day. Um, yo, let these cats know. What's up? Where, where are you repping? Where am I repping? What city? I'm from Toronto. Born and raised Scarborough. Uh, repped to Durham, too. Went to Whitby High School. Wow. Uh, Henry Street High School when I was younger. And uh, now I'm repping Meaford, Ontario. If you guys don't know where that is, it's on Georgian Bay. So, well, I'm from Toronto. Yo, Meaford sounds far, like far. You it know what I'm saying? Fun. Like it's, it's definitely out there. Yeah, yeah. But you hold it down. <laughs> for TDOT, for Toronto. All the in time. Toronto all the time. All the time. Makes that fucking commute all the time. All the time. Man. For shows. He's showing a lot of love to artists too, putting them on and stuff like that. Um, you're, you own a company. You are you run an entertainment company. Yeah. Um, Raw Dog Entertainment. As you can see on the hat, on the shirt, he's got it going on. Um, when did that start? I uh, started roughly like, I would say, man, it would have to be probably September of 2011. So probably, yeah. September of 2011. So well, you've been going, going at it for like a good three years. Yeah, writing for three years on and off and... The label I've been throwing shows for two years, so but Raw Dog started kind of just just before I started throwing showcases. I kind of just started it so I could have a team to represent, I guess. Yeah, like is it registered? Are you? Everything's registered. Everything's good to go. So big, it's man. all here. It's all big, here. man. It's all everywhere. So we're just uh, you see Raw Dog everywhere. You got your logo <laughs> up. You got that fucking dog there. That's my dog. Yeah, is it? That's my Boston. I have him tattooed on my leg. That's my Boston table. Oh, shit. And I just bought another puppy. Name's Georgia. Baby. I, I had no idea. I thought that was just a Check logo. Check it on Facebook. That's my ugly dog. He looks like me. They say you look like your pets, but that's my dog. It's personal when it comes to raw dog. Man. That's my dog. <laughs> that's big. That's big. Um, so raw dog, like I said, he's he's been everywhere. Um, how many shows do you have under your belt that you've put on, that, that raw put dog's on? put on? Uh, yeah, probably about... 100 if not over 100 in the last two years at least we used to have a weekly at lamandina lounge Bam. for a while that was that went well yeah yeah and then we we did two ontario tours basically but then other than that we've been i've been yeah the showcases have been going on for every month every uh, two a month three a month whenever i'm crazy enough to think that like yeah we've done a lot man I get asked a lot yo can i get on a man. show can i get on a show so i'm trying to just keep uh, making shows fire and ice <laughs> yes sir Fire and Ice, you're at number four now? Uh, three. Number three. Three on March 15th. Uh, yeah, man, that's basically like Fire and Ice, honestly, I'm not going to lie, I hate strip clubs. I actually, I don't like strip clubs, but it's cool. It's not, I just don't like strip clubs. But my yeah, boss, yeah, yeah. he owns Taboo, so he okay, asked okay. me if uh, I could start bringing in some, some, I guess, networking and stuff. So. It was an original idea. It's, it's, yeah, honestly, it you don't that. see that happening in Toronto a lot where no. shows are actually being thrown at, at Not in strip, strip clubs, clubs man. Yeah. Like, and we got, like, Fire and Ice, the first Fire and Ice was blessed because we had the full experience of actually being at the strip club. So Fire and Ice, that was awesome to actually have the dancers on stage while the artists were performing. Plus, like, crazy. it was a good, the only thing that happened is when we got there, the mics were literally, like, 10 feet long. So like oh, shit. From running from the DJ booth, so yeah, yeah, that one kind of that was good overall energy, everything that was awesome. But then Fire Nice Two, uh, when we did it at the Elma Combo, we couldn't have the dancers and stuff because they didn't want with the regulations and stuff. They didn't want certain things. So like we're gonna March fifteenth. All I'm gonna say is March fifteenth for Fire and Ice Three. We're gonna be coming back with everything. I got dollar. We got bills to throw out and stuff. We Bomb. got party bus booked. We got dancers. Everything's good to go. Like. They they do what they do best. That's and huge. We're bringing the hip hop there too, so it's gonna be. I'm actually really looking forward. I want to kind of. I want to show something for Fire. So it's something. It's <laughs> something that's gonna continue. Like Fire oh, Nice. Fire Nice Four is booked uh, for May, 
May 17th, Fire and Ice 4 is booked, and that's... So Jay. it's once a month. We're looking to do once a month, but I'm looking to take a little break for a month and a half to kind of do some things, I'm sure, if we're going to talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll whatever. definitely get but, into uh, that. Yeah, March 15th is Fire and Ice 3. That's Black of the Dawn. We got Tory Lanez coming out. They got a track together, so they're going to be bumping that on stage. Big. Money Tree Entertainment is headlining that showcase also. Um, Fire and Ice 4, that's on May 17th. Same place, Taboo. Bam. And we just, we got some, we got to and you did other ones. You did other ones. You put me on one at uh, Crazy Cactus, yeah, we did. which that is was unfortunately the... closed down now. But uh, yeah, I heard. I heard about. Okay. Man. Oh yeah, Crazy Cactus. Yeah, this is crazy. I'm gonna fill you guys in on something because yeah. I've got an inside source there. Mm. The guy who owns the place owes two hundred and fifty thousand dollars plus sixty thousand dollars in back taxes. That's what he's like to <laughs> Dude's fucked. <laughs> Like, yo, pay your back taxes and don't. Yo, apparently, <laughs> apparently he's a good dude. Apparently, the guy who owns it, Manu, I think his name was. Yeah, Manu. Yeah, man, yeah. he's he's not a bad cat, man. He's a good well, cat. He just got too, himself in a in a pickle for sure, man. Man, to say the least. I can't know, even. Three hundred thousand dollar pickle. That's crazy. I don't. That's an expensive that's pickle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should ask the owner because, like, quick little thing, whatever. The reason why the venue switched from Taboo to El Macombo is because my boss that was running Taboo. I don't know the numbers and stuff, yeah, but yeah, yeah. he got fired, he wasn't allowed to do that stuff no more, and the actual owner of Taboo was looking forward to us to come to do the event, but because I already flipped the switch so quick to get the new venue, that's, but I'm sure he's, I don't know how deep the numbers are, but that's, that's <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that um, You're still a good dude, Manu, seriously, a good dude, show PB Styles for that too. <laughs> when did, uh, yo, big shout out PB Styles. Um, dudes repping the city. That's how Saga. I got Crazy Cactus and how I got into that stuff. So that's just gotta He's doing his thing, out. man. Definitely. Um, which I think he's showing love at the show tomorrow. The Hunger Games coming out, too. Yeah, yeah. I keep getting those. I keep tagging me in those things. I'm seeing those. those yeah, yeah. Hunger Games. And he's actually throwing a next uh, competition. Put your money where your mouth is. I, I got a is. big mouth, so maybe I should. But I'm poor. So 25 what, bucks. 25 bucks, and you could win <laughs> 750 bucks or something. Yo, might be worth it, man. There's a lot of big mouth artists out there, guys. Shh. Yo, if you're an artist out there right now listening, I know you got a big mouth, so you better be getting that. You need to get on right that, man. Twenty five <laughs> bucks, you can't lose, man. Seven hundred fifty, we can win. Seven hundred fifty bucks. Is that battling or just spitting and stuff? Like that's you just dropping bars, like sixteen bars of heat, I think. Yeah. Right for twenty five bucks. Twenty five bucks. Huh. Right, right. You may that. just see me there. I'm gonna wanna check that out. Then that's that sounds like a good opportunity. <laughs> when did uh, when did you actually start writing? Uh I started writing. Well, the summer of whatever three years ago is, man. So like, I, I, it's, everything's been a blur, honestly. Ever for the last two years, not blur, but like they say, when you have a when you have a kid, I guess you start losing your memory and stuff or whatever. And that's actually, my I see, I see you, I see you all over your Facebook. <laughs> Uh, Bubba Bear. Bubba Thank Bear. You, That's my Bubba Bear, man. That's my baby. Um, obviously, uh, you have a strong connection with your daughter. Yes, sir. Which I give full respects to. Yes, me sir. being a father. That's um, so that's uh, that's big. I like that that you rep that. That's my Bubba uh, Bear. I call my dog my Bubba, and then my my Bubba Bear because uh, that's my second. A lot of people <laughs> are just finding out now that I have a son. Yeah, I didn't even know. Um. Uh, that's that's blessed. And I, I, I try to keep my personal life separate from my work, yes, from my sir. business, and sometimes you got to. Um, but I changed my mind I have an issue because he that. is my everything. <laughs> that's good though, man. You know what I mean? So it's you know he's gotten some exposure been over the time. Been putting us on. I didn't even know. That's why I'm like feeling. I was like, wow, wow. Yeah, he's just a little guy, two years old. Uh, he's like my my little monster. See? Those grown men putting in work for their children. Man. Yeah, yeah, this is, you know. No matter what you're doing in music. We do it for a passion, but we also do it, you know, to feed our families and feed ourselves and stuff like that, you know. The life of the starving artist. That's <laughs> I got it's a struggle every day, man. I got a, I got a picture coming out soon from uh, Justin May, and it says, Won't rap for free, starving artists. <laughs> so, Bam! This is, uh, Yo, actually, I saw your picture. Um, you were with a backpack, and it looked like Armageddon. Yes, sir. Man, that was a crazy pic. Yes, sir. I like, I like crazy the pic, put man. Putting on that one, man, because he says he's telling me he's like, all right, go, go grab something, you know, like something that you bring on, whatever. We'll take a picture to kind of have like the setting of that. 
And I thought about it, and I was like, yo, my backpack, like, that's my that's my turtle show when I'm yeah. right here. That's, <laughs> sure. that's why I come down for a weekend. I got my backpack. It's got, I left it here last weekend, and I'm, I've got to go get my drawers back and stuff because it's still in my yeah, backpack. Yeah. But he said, grab something, and right there was my backpack. And then when I seen the work he actually put in afterwards, I was like, wow. It was man, immaculate. This man seriously is, he's, he definitely yo, knows it, how to There's a reason. Something. There's a reason why people go to him. On a regular. This guy's busy as hell. He's a beast. Bro. He's booked until like April or something. Get Fotified. Get Fotified. Oh yeah, C A, my bad. F O T I. F O T I F I E D dot C A. And if you're ever gonna come here for an interview, man, <laughs> Chris knows how to Bring your lungs. Here. Yeah, bring your lungs, yo. <laughs> I've been sleeping for too long. <laughs> And uh, on that me for <laughs> so yo oh, he so he's been writing for a while I gotta ask you what is your favorite song you've ever written what means the most to you my mama track definitely that's the is first that the song. name of it my mama no so mama never told me mama never told me you can go I don't got a video for that yet so that's what is I, it out yeah it's been out for since I dropped it so probably like two that's and a half huge years. so so why is it why is it the most important is to do with my mom so that's pretty uh that has a lot to do i've got a very good relationship with my mother but at the end of the day the song is just about showing that i'm not hating i'm not putting her down but i'm saying that things could be better if she actually put time into herself to you know like i'm there to help her stand up yeah, if yeah. she's willing to stand up with me you know so like at the end of the day that song's just me expressing how i feel towards my mother without being a complete asshole or just telling her certain other things it's just saying you know like i'm kind of let's, there let's put there, the beef yeah. aside and i'm just there that's it so yeah that's my that's my mama track so Man, that's that, big yeah that song um i just, think I everybody's got a song that means something yeah to exactly like everyone's got that those those tracks you know like right now with me writing all i all i know to write about is my life so anything that i write about is is me so that's probably the best way other than watching this stuff right now yeah, that yeah live that live you know the other only best way to get to know me is either knowing me in person sitting beside me or listening to my music so yeah that's and at the end of the it. day you're gonna walk away and be like yo fuck jadon fuck that guy me i love that shit jadon fuck that guy shout out, <laughs> shout, no i love that no yeah, for real <laughs> shout out to mike stone like mike's this you want me to tell you how jadon fuck that guy you got it because like Cause Cause you see happened. it everywhere. It's like everywhere. It just absolutely it. dominates my timeline. See, I'm. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm like my phone dies halfway through the day because I'm seeing. I tell people, Jada, you better if 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 you got me on Facebook, Twitter, BBM, whatever. If you even my phone number, man. If you got me, you better charge your phones. If I'm getting off, if I'm pissed off, or if I'm like thinking some stuff, or I got something coming up, you might want to charge your phone because. Yeah, or delete. It me. dies quick. It's gonna, yeah, it, it happens, but it dies. I've charged this thing what three times today. <laughs> I'm, and I'm already dying. Look <laughs> at this. I'd be on it right now, like, but it's charging right now, so yeah. She's killing him. But no, Jadon fucked that guy basically because like, what's happened is it's it. Mike Stone's basically how it started, kind of like he's telling me he's like, you know, he's always trying to refer me to people and everything. Say, you know, like get at Jadon for shows, check out Jadon or whatever, trying to. You know, he gives, he supports really, really strong. So he's telling this to people, but sometimes people don't know how people know each other. So he was trying, he kept saying it to a couple people and they'd be like, ah, oh, Jadon, fuck that guy. So he's like, oh, why, why? Blah, blah. So then they tell him the story, blah, blah, blah. And then it's Jadon, fuck that guy. So he's telling me, yo, geez, bro. Like every time these guys are like, fuck that guy whenever they say Jadon. So I'm like, yeah, but what do they think about Jordan? You know, because like some people are like, yo, Jordan's a good dude, but Jadon guy's a fucking dick like yeah, yeah, that's yeah. yeah one thing you have to understand is like when i do my music even in general i'm not splitting in two but at the end of the day like there's people that appreciate what i do as a father what i do as a as you know trying to help people as a youth mentor as this and that but then as an artist what i do there's different I, it's basically just allows me to just be me that's how i feel it's like an it's, like, being an actor. it's like you just get to be you fully get to just let it out on how you're feeling and your expressions but i you know that respect side of me still comes in. So Jadon fuck that guy basically came because whenever Stone would say to certain people or here and there, and then I started hashtagging and I was like, I trended. I was like, fuck this. Yeah, yeah. If, if it's fuck that guy, then yeah, fuck that guy. Like if if he's such a dick, like as far as I know, I'm I'm a pretty good dude. So if it's fuck that guy, then he must be an asshole. Cause I'm I try to do the best at everything I do. And absolutely, at the end absolutely. Of the you day, put a still, lot of people on. It's man, still fuck is, that guy. So yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, fam. Like that's how Jadon fuck that guy started. So I Mike Stone, thank you because. 
if if that man didn't support me as much as he did and was there to to keep me posted on the real shit, then I probably would still be still be like blind to certain things. But yeah, fuck yeah, that yeah. guy, Jaden. That guy's a fuck that guy. <laughs> Actually, if you're watching this right I see now, it everywhere. If man. you're watching this right now, just hashtag Jaden. Fuck that guy. I'm pretty sure I saw it tagged in a Tim Hortons bathroom stall. <laughs> Jade on fuck that, that guy. guy. Like it's it's as long as my phone number wasn't there because I don't got my phone. No, there. no, your phone's dead anyway. Fuck that so guy. well, that phone's they dead. won't get much of you anyway. No, fucking dead. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, mixtape. Ah, you've put out a mixtape. Music in the mix two. You put out two mixtapes. See music a lot of people just music in the making. That's what it is. Music in the making. Um, I didn't realize you did two of them. I, I remember the I one. I took the for first sure. one down because it was six months into writing, and it's still it's back up again. Whatever. Okay. It's not it's not because it was, it's not a bad mixtape. Like basically, when I came up with music in the making, the the overall goal was it's a collaboration only. Like you can't get on this. There's no solos. It's a collaboration only. All original beats, whatever. So like, or so it could be a collaboration with anybody. Anybody. It just has to be a collaboration track. Music in the making. The general goal for that was to bring everybody together to have as many people together on the tape. So I thought, well, how do I do it? Get people to do songs with other people. Because at yeah, the yeah. time, I only have two solo tracks. My Mama track and Save Me. Those are only two solo tracks I have. Most of you guys don't even know what the fuck that is, but it's cool. Download them. Check out Music in the Making, datpiff.com. There's two of them. It is on that. It's on datpiff.com. Yes, big, sir. big. Music in the Making. Um, but yeah, and actually, we'll, together, post, so. we'll post links. We're, I'm going to post links to uh, all your social media. Yeah. Well, um, just we honestly, what happened was... I write only collabs. That's my goal. I only write collabs. I don't write single tracks. I can't write write hooks worth shit. I'm still learning this stuff. So I write right. collabs only. I can write a verse, do my thing. So what happened with music in the making basically is that the first eight songs in the first one were just me and collabs with other artists. People okay. that were working with me that helped me out in the music. The rest of them was other people that sent in tracks. Music in the making 2 now is building into my album. My album from the... I don't want to get like too much into whatever now, like if it's something, whatever. It's but, coming up. Yeah, so basically, Music in the Making 2, I took all the big, the names of people that are actually trying to push, that come out to the shows, that do this, that are grinding, that are trying to put it on. So if you look, we got Peter Jackson, we got Church Chisel, we got Jelly Two Fly, Dusty Wallace, we got, there's, I, I, huge. There's huge a lot of names on the, on the actual mixtape, so like, and that's leading into the album, which when we get to that or whatever, like I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to build basically so everyone's growing together and those that really understand what's going on, they're going to grow together with it. So like when part three comes out, there's you're, we've already, I want to get a track in the same ways. Yeah, I yeah, ask artists, course, ask artists for collaborations. Why? Because I want them either to be on a mixtape or the next album. That's, Bum. it's just trying to build together, man. No matter what anybody wants to put towards it, that's how music in the making too was put out again. I put everything into it. I did. I got the, the album work done and everything. We're going to have hard copies coming out soon to give out at shows and stuff. But I'm just trying to show people now this year it's going to be visuals and people are going to start seeing the work that... Like, if you don't that already know that, you put it in now. I already know, man. I so see like, it. I've seen it. I've seen it and I see it. Trying to make it... You a know little, what I mean? Yeah, I'm trying to make it just a little more... I'm investing more into it. You know, it's killing me at the end of the day, but I'm, I'm investing more into it because this is going to be the push because... When you have a feeling, just go with it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, we got into the fact that you've put on a ton of shows. Mm -hmm. um, you're kind of going to step away from that scene for a little bit. For Yeah, just like a... And not really step away, no, I, and I don't mean that. I'm sure you're still going to be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably gonna be itching but like to like throw another show, but I'm just you, gonna... your Your mind's in a different priority right now. Yes, sir. Um... So where are you at with that? What what do we? Well, basically, March. What's happening is like, I've put a lot of time into helping artists, and I put Absolutely. a lot of time into giving this foundation, this exposure from what I learned from what was given to me when I started. Like when I started music, if it wasn't for CIM, for IRM, for them local cats, for D Regular Crew, uh, for Peter Jackson, if it wasn't for those. Freddie Fame, if it wasn't for those guys when I started, and Johnny Smash, and Chill. Like, those are the ones that basically gave me showcases. Okay. So, and then I started doing my showcases to because of certain situations. But then now, what it is is that I want to come out fully as an artist. I've been given these opportunities, and I've been watching, and I'm like, yo, there's certain things that 
artists really need to understand that they have to do in order to gain the right exposure and to not waste their own time. Like, it's not about yeah. wasting my time. It's you're wasting your own time at the end of the day. I do this shit for free. So you're not really wasting my time. Like, it is time, whatever, and I could be doing another shit, but I'm doing it for you. So if I'm doing something for you, yeah. you're wasting your own time. Like, you're wasting my time, yeah, but then what the, the what are you day, really fucking doing? Like, yeah, what yeah, are you yeah. doing at the you're end of the day? You're throwing away opportunities. If you're wasting my time, then you're definitely wasting yours, your time. So it's like, right now what I'm doing is... I said, I dropped the second mixtape, I wrote some more tracks, I got some solid collabs coming up, coming towards the album, and basically what it is, is that come March 17th, or March 15th, sorry, after Fire and Ice 3, I'm just gonna relax until May, so like maybe a month and a half, two months, and I'm not gonna relax, but I'm not gonna do the shows, I don't no, want the no, stress I, yeah. of, not the stress, but I don't want that right now because i've already done that and i've already given that and i'm not stopping it i'm just taking a second to actually start doing what people say now that i have the talent to do i'm not focusing a lot on my writings now i am focusing on my writing so i want to come back as an art not come back but be an artist i want to fully be able to be an artist i don't got a manager everything i do is in this crazy fucking head yeah, so yeah, like, yeah you yeah. know what i'm saying it's off this that's how it comes so i want to take the time now to sit down Think about what I really want to do for my album, for the collaborations, for the videos. It's a From the Ground Up is the name of my album, basically. It's going to be a double disc. One disc is going to be a video for every song that's on the album. So every Bam. song I do is going to be a video. But the, the songs are collaborations. It's a collaboration album, once again. But it's going to be with actual, like solid grinding artists i want artists that are making noise i want artists that are doing shit because i feel personally i've only been writing two for three years yes but life is life so yeah 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 as a writer for three you years experience like life every day yeah i'm not so capable of shit. learning this shit fast so yeah, i've yeah. got i want to do mdz me and mdz and brian rudder we just dropped a track that ill vibe directed produced by century status you have real wolf productions so like he just did our track reaching yo that's and a big collab right there man respect, having, bro, no bro, i mean like you br Brian Rudder, I think, is sick. Brian's he's got a, beast, a voice. Man. He's got a voice, Brian's man, that needs beast, to be heard. Um, MDZ shot his footage somewhere in the Caribbean. I'm not gonna say well, where, but he's overseas, yo. So like, he did his verse over, and, and I he's did sending it to Ilva. He, no, he sent it to me. I had to sit. We sat there for two days. Me and DZ sat there for like a day and a half transferring it. Then I burned it on a disc and gave it to Ilva when he recorded the video. So dope. like, it's like when he put it together, he had the footage to kind of have an idea but that's how we kind of came up with the general concept because it's like when DZ starts his verse he's like Jada what's up so we're like well you know what I mean like yeah, he's yeah, over yeah. there we're here and he wanted like in the video if you when you see it and stuff it's it's more of like uh, everyone's coming together you know what I mean so on his side out there they're all chilling in the back of the alleys they're doing whatever in the in the town like in the actual I don't know it's called a village and where they are yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's all the people around with them people that are respecting his grind whichever it is there's wow. his family with them so then in my video i put out there all the time i said artists come out whatever but then at the end of the day we had calissa we had little t we had dj cross uh ill vibes in it same ways ryan marshall brian rudder and swish styles so wow. they had mike stone so like they came out to show support came together so that's me showing we brought us together they're together and the whole point of reaching is just everybody coming together so like that video that was I, I think got 500 views in one day so far so thank damn you, thank you to everyone that's out there right now supporting that shit because that song you have a link to that i have a link to that yes we're gonna we'll, post that we'll type that in yeah 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 we're gonna post yeah, that that's so dumb like it's just about collabs i got a collab coming up right now with tommy spitz uh produced by swan of ill rock records so that's a track i'm looking forward to i hit up mishi me so we're gonna look into just different people man different people man church chisel Peter Jackson, same ways. I mean, I got at him already. Uh, Rich Kid said he's gonna hook me up with something, help me out on some stuff. Uh, Rich Jelly Two Fly. So it's like my You're album. beats from Rich. Yes, sir. Oh so my man. album, my album's more of showing. Basically, what I've done is I said to the artist, "Okay, you're an artist. Who's your producer?" Right, right. Your artist, who's your producer? Dre Bars, same way. Shout out to Dre Bars. We're gonna be putting in some work. But like, so DZ and Century Status. If you go back and check, whatever it is, Century Status has been doing all DZ's beats. So like, not all Huge. of them, but putting in the work. Yeah, yeah, so same yeah. Same way. That's that's how my album. I'm trying to build it. I'm trying to show people that I want to be. I want to stand beside the same people that have been putting in the time and the work and the effort. And I want to be there beside them, giving them everything I basically got. I'm showing yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah. I'll go bar for bar. I'll go whatever. I'll put in the best work I can put in. If you don't think it's the best work I can put in, well, then that's your opinion. Because if I'm telling you I'm going to put in the best work I can put in, then, that's then what it, you got to take so, it as what it is. That's man, what like, it is, man. But yeah, from the ground up.
coming huge, in the summer huge. 2014. So summer? Yes, this year. I'm gonna bang every video. I already dropped reaching. We're gonna go in the studio and bang out uh the next song coming out called What the heck is it with Tommy Spitz? Let him know. <laughs> Bob. You got me burning on that. <laughs> let him know it's coming, but I'm not I'm not gonna let you know. But yeah, the video is gonna be done. But that video we're getting done by Capture uh, Photography and Films by Danny Boy. So I'm gonna be looking into switching it up with the directors too, same ways because I wanna test out what's going on. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I got a track called Don't Give a Fuck. That's on YouTube right now that Freddie Fame did. It's a green screen video. I like it because I don't give a fuck. But yeah. I think you need to do a track <laughs> called Jade on Fuck That Guy. Uh, yeah, it's probably it's probably overdue. It well, is over sitting man. around writing about myself. I don't want to sit around and write. Pretty about much, myself. just yeah, write about all the the hate you've been getting from I everybody. Know you know, you don't need to call out names. I love you like, guys, though. I really do love you guys. Even my haters, I love you guys. And you can't even say I don't because I still try to con contact with you guys sometimes and say, "Yo, let's drop mm -hmm. this bullshit and let's move forward." But like Mike Stone says, "Yo, sometimes you just gotta let it go." So I'm not gonna let it go. Bomb, bomb. Um, upcoming shows. You said you have fire and ice. Yes, sir. What yeah, else you got to hide, man? You're on stage tomorrow night. Saga continues. This man put me on a, on a Saga continues. Saga City. Yeah, man. You know what? I got to say this, man. <sighs> There's a lot of hatred between artists in Toronto. It's very hard to gain a fan this is in Toronto. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. It's very hard to gain a fan in Toronto. In Mississauga, we have so much unity down here. We, we've all come together and been like, yo, no hatred, no beef, no nothing. Um, very easy to gain a fan, and I think you will. That's awesome. I think you, I can almost guarantee you will walk away with some new fans. I'm looking forward to more. I, I see love, you perform. I love just, I love to talk. I love to talk to people, and I like to meet new people. You have a lot of energy when you <laughs> perform. Yes. If you haven't seen me perform yet, then... Which is crazy, because in his pictures, you very rarely see his face. No, on video, I don't have a he's choice. Got a, he's got a pose. It's and, not a pose. And, yes, it is a pose. Well, <laughs> and the pose and the pose <laughs> seems very relaxed. It's just like, I don't want to see your face. It's almost like you're praying. Do you want to know why I do it? I do. Fuck, I think everybody else does too. Why do you do that? I do it because I'm not with my daughter. I swear to myself that every minute that I put into doing music, if I'm not with my daughter, then you don't see my face. Because my time should be with my daughter. That's plain and simple. Oh, shit. So if you get a picture with me, that's why I don't show my face. It's not in disrespect. It's nothing. It's I'm Raw Dog Entertainment at the end of the day. That's I'm Jadon, fuck that guy, yeah, but I'm Raw Dog Entertainment. So if I'm not with my daughter, then I'm Raw Dog Entertainment. So you don't see you don't see this. You see this now because I don't got a choice or when I'm performing or when I do a music video. I can't spend the time trying to hide my face all the time. But when it comes to pictures that are going to be, you know, Pictures. I was gonna put up a so. sensory bar across your yeah, face. Yeah, blur or something like just. Yeah, like, yeah, and and like mask your voice with a fucking. I would have actually if you had asked me before coming into that, I probably would have said that. But then for music videos, I probably have to do the same. And then for like shows that you I gotta wear some consistent. Can can anybody out there design some sensory glasses? <laughs> that would be oh, awesome. That'd be sick. <laughs> Put my chain. dog's face and on. And it says like, sensory. Yeah, or sensory bomb. I was yeah, yeah, yeah. Raw dog it more because like, how much more of a walking commercial can I? You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So they got. You've got an album coming out. You've got some shows coming up. Yes, I just want to say one more show though. Uh, March seventh in Whippy. Uh, me and Brian Rudder were opening up for JD Air and Rich Kid, and I'm looking so forward to that show because. They say I have stage energy, man. I've been to I've been to a couple of Rich Kid shows and I've been to a JD Air show and those motherfuckers on stage, like psych like they go crazy. So I'm I'm glad that I got to be part of that. So shout out definitely to Ill Broken Entertainment. All I have to say ah. Rich Kid, JD Era, both from Saga. Crazy. Canada's very own. Both from Saga. Look man. at these humble, friendly dudes. See that? J.D. Aaron and Rich Kid can go out on a show and headline together, and they don't got to say, what, I got to open for that guy? No, they fucking do it together. Bob. Saga. Yo, come up to Saga, drink the water. We got the love up here, Hug man. each other. <laughs> drink the water. There's something in the water. I took a, handful, I took a handful of water, like... <laughs> um, all right, so, yo, I got a question for you. 2014, who do you feel is going to blow up in this scene? Locally, who do you think's really everybody? Because that's what y'all want to fucking hear. Bam. <laughs> um, who's gonna blow up? Who, in your in your opinion, who do you think is gonna really? Who do you think stands set the out? Standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying it because I can say, uh, yo, 
I, there's a long list, personally. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I got a lot of respect for Peter Jackson, but do I say I think he's going to blow up? Now I think he's been blowing up since I he started. I think he has blown so up. So that's why I got to leave him out. Jelly Two Fly, that's a woman you need to look out for because she started around the same time I started, and that, her whole persona, the way she holds herself, the music, the lyrics, the presence, the stage control, all that shit. Artists need to take pens, papers, go to shows, write down what the fuck other people are doing that are doing it properly so that everybody can be blown up. That's what that's what that's about. But Jelly Two Fly, Church Chisel, that guy is a monster. He is yep. from much music to doing the freestyle champs and stuff, from stage press, everything. That dude is insane. Um, I can't even, like, there's... Go ahead, keep talking. Keep talking. Hello? Do you think... Well, no, fuck, if you get a phone call, I want a phone call. Like, am I okay, yo, 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 are you here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me a sec, okay? Oh, okay, hold on. My okay. bad. But yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of artists I feel that I'm not going to sit here and continue naming names. My like, bad. My top, honestly, like I said, uh, Jelly Two Fly got a lot of love for her for what she's doing. Church Chisel, same ways. Uh, yep. Dre Bars. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. I love that dude. It depends. Like, I don't listen to mainstream. But I don't, like, I don't, I like the overall overall everything that everyone's doing like even with what you're doing now even with ill vibes doing even with what guts has been doing putting his time in with it even with rochester man's coming gone come again you know dusty wallace uh fuck uh try shy try shy is an artist right now that's got my attention yo on a fucking whole other scheme, in a big way a whole other scheme like if you haven't seen a try shy performance then you might want to get out to her next fucking set because that woman i'd watched her at big ticket she's been on i don't even know how many of my shows She's she's doing well with it. Like you got, she just did a new video. Uh, I want to see bad behavior, the worst behavior one. Worst behavior. Ill vibe did that one. Ill vibe did it, man. Yo, she goes in. Drake, Drake did he, he bars. Listen that shit, cause like, trash. I kind of killed that shit. <laughs> bars, man. Yeah. Um, I'm have a lot of haters if I try to say who's. That's why I'm just saying whatever. All you guys can have the potential to do it, but speaking of bars, speaking of bars. Mm. I think Jadon brought some fucking bars. Oh, what? Who? Where? Bars? Gold bars? I think. <laughs> I think. I think he's gonna <laughs> drop <coughs> some sizzling hot fucking I, venom on you guys. I just actually did this one the other day. There it is. Uh, kind of trying to Yo. switch it up and do whatever. Let me get my ugly mug at the picture. Ugly mug? Well, I thought this was a Jadon. Chris McLeod fucking this ain't. Oh no. So this, ladies, this is all Jadon. No, oh, you moved out the picture, man. This yeah, is a Jadon done. interview now. This is, hey, Taz, you want to come in the interview, bro? Like, okay, my bad. Yo, it's like this. Broke as fuck, so you know I'm never buying it. Product of my environment. You bitches need to try this shit. Inspiring, inspired by the fact I'm higher than these haters always waiting. But patience is only 5%. No time for filling in the blanks. And I could give a fuck about what anybody thinks. I wish y'all just leave me alone. Fuck a roof over my head. It's go bigger, go hoa on. I'm living larger than life. And I ain't living with regrets. So I could do this shit twice. Feeling nicer than the nicest. Realer than the realest. Looking to the mirror. Staring to my eyes. Tell myself, go fuck your feelings It's like I'm misunderstood Man to man, face to face Like I wish a bitch would All you ever seem to talk about Is life in the hood Though you never made it out So you still up to no good Bow. Chase I don't think the phone ringing shit's in my bars In the fucking version But it's cool I wanted to spit off that I was like You should've I almost fucked up I'm not gonna lie That's why I like this stuff it Gives me a chance to come out Do your thing Relax I didn't come I can't say prepared I was fucking I was talking about and everything, like whatever. But at the end of the day, when you come out to do something, just make it the best experience ever. Cause I like chilling with good people, and you're fucking awesome. Yo, those were dope bars. Bomb. And that's how we fucking do. That is how we do. Actually, that's how he do. Just, just saying. So, um, so yo, goes the other way. <laughs> I uh, while we were talking, I saw some questions pop up. Mm. So we're gonna get to questions. If you have any questions whatsoever, now's the time to ask him. Otherwise, he's going to be like, oh, no, you had your fucking opportunity. Fuck your questions. I don't want to give you any. Uh, so, <laughs> I like the Jadon. Fuck that guy. Though, the guy. first one. <laughs> fuck, I almost missed this. This is Designer. Yes, sir. Designer. He had a show last night. That was a Official Culture Radio. Uh, radio. Big show. Stacy. Uh, with Stacy Brizzle. Stacy Brizzle. Um, it was a big oh, show. Peter he gave a lot of love. Big shout outs. Yeah, Peter Jackson called in. Uh, he gave me a shout out. Much respects. Riot Studios also. Always. 
And Riot Studios, man. He mentioned everything about me, which I thought was pretty dope, man. Mucho respecto. That was big. Um, and it says here, I'm here now, though. My bad. Okay. Welcome. Word. Bring your lungs. Yo, he's been here before. <sighs> Bring my lungs. He's been here before. Design. Oh, yeah, I've I seen the, the start of it when you're showing. It's your first... Your first My one. first studio audience first I've ever had. I'm slacking, see? You guys you guys beat me to the punch. <laughs> um, I got asthma too, man. <laughs> it says here, at OKR Radio, just tweeted, Jadon, fuck that guy. Thank you, and I will retweet that when my phone is done charging, yo. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, any more questions? Come on. Fuck this. I'm going to tell people to bug me. No. <laughs> oh. Many times. <laughs> um, okay, so that, that is J-Don. I actually really, you know what, I'm going to be honest with you. Every time I look at this fucking thing and I look at my face, I got big, brushy eyebrows. Eyebrows. Look at this shit, like. Not as bushy as your beard, your fucking. No, face. this kid, this is the King Tut. Yo, this is the King Tut. This this is so when you can't see my face, it got the king. Recognize tut. That's what we the call. King, that's the king tut. I'm working like like I said today. I didn't hit. I'm pretty sure girls like that. <clears throat> girls, not, if you're watching, type in. Do you like? You just fucking got me sleeping on the couch the again. Soul patch. On the couch, bro. Like she's <laughs> on. You're lucky she's on the bus right now. Coming here, unless my baby mom's is. I'm shut. Yo, you're big just, ups, big ups, big ups, to the baby moms. Gotta love the baby mom. Shout out to Kush McClouds, yo. I hope you... You see this couch right here? If you if you smell, you tell, if right? you smell Jadon on this next time you're in an interview, it's because I slept here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting... Yo, this I is called you, the dog house. This is called that, like, fucking bacon <laughs> eggs in the morning, bro. I'm, thanks. Hey, all the... All the <laughs> well, while we're at it, all the females out there, just hit me up why, and I won't answer because I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> the designer says, I've been there many times. You're welcome, fam. Of course, I'm going to promote you. Yes, sir. That's good, though. So you got love from designer, man. You yeah, got love, too. That's what I'm saying. I got lots of love. We brought him to Saga. He did the first interview. He went back to Toronto. Yep. Did he have a glass of water here? Um. See what I'm getting I'm at? Sure. He came to Saga. Sure. Got some of the love. I'm the worst host. I'm the worst host ever. I'm not. I'm never offered people drinks. <laughs> I'm like, yo, there's like I had a to drink on the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, raw dog, you know where to go. Yeah, <laughs> I got it all confused. I thought he was half dog. I'm like, yo, there's a toilet right there. I'm pretty sure it's clean. Um, oh, man. So, yo. You gotta, gotta tell my secrets. <laughs> it is what it is. Yo. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. What's the place called? Oko Red Lounge. Who's headlining? Dutch Dillinger. Bang. And who we got? Who we got? Okay, so check this out. I'm gonna try to nail this. I'm gonna start with Jadon. I think that's a good way to go. Yeah, fuck that guy. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna start with Jadon. Oh, best part. Oh, yeah. Simply put, and Kush McLeod are hosting this. It's gonna be badass. You can guarantee it. I got prizes to give away. One to a guy, one to a girl, both worth over a hundred bucks. Trust me, you're gonna love it. If you told the females that theirs vibrated, I guarantee you they would definitely be like, I'm just joking. It could vibrate. <laughs> it depends. Yeah, it could. If you're shaking if your you're hand. Shaking, if you're shaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right? It, 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 yeah. Right? So it vibrates. Yes. 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 Uh, <laughs> um, so uh, we've got... I'm going to wear fucking fake tits just to I win think both you need of them. To. I think you need to, man. Just, just to win both. Remember stick when? Stick a couple balloons yo, in your shirt and shit. My fam Taz, like this man, I don't even remember, but when we were fucking like 12, I did it for Halloween. I wore fucking fake titties and shit. I was like, fuck, this is my last year going out. I'm wearing titties. And I went out as a female. Jade on exposed. Bomb. That guy. But yeah, I should dress as both so I can get I think you should. two bracelets. And or do one of those half and half, the guys that like, half of them are female and half of them are male. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't grow a mustache either way. So and you're, you're I'm not eligible for both. Like, nah, I'm not. I'm the bearded woman and man. When I'm, you <laughs> tomorrow, I, no, I'm not. When you walk in, you know how long this took me. Give this side to the the girl at the door, <laughs> and, and then go this side. side. And be like, oh hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm winning both of those prizes tomorrow. <laughs> Jadon is going to be performing. Danielson. Yes. And Brown Bag. Money. Money. 
it's okay because for like brown three shows I called them brown uh, I, paper bags I'm a dumbass don't worry and I, <laughs> I don't want to say brown paper cur- bags but yo brown bag cur- money BPM, brown bag money Safer Soze and Daniel Sun Brampton all yes. day um, so we got LIP mm-hmm. he's also from Brampton uh, we have Pincushion Kids Pincushion Kids we Sorry. have Fata yes from CRE so you know Philly's gonna be with him, Philly Mob. Uh, we have Alex Dewitt. Mm-hmm. Funny mother. Man, <laughs> this guy. Google YouTube that name right now. Me. And he's Mississauga. <laughs> he's Mississauga as well. Uh, always holding it I'm down. I'm not getting eggs from him, am I? I'm kind of noticing yeah, what's going so. on. I'm, I'm like, so. where's Dutch? Where's Dutch from? Dutch is Scarborough. Okay, cool. We good then. We good. Dutch is from the Because I thought I was getting like dragged out there for some like angry. I, I know you guys are hugging. You got the good drinking water and stuff. And you got the love. But I thought I was like, yo, everyone you're naming off is like Brampton, Mississauga. And I'm and like, yo. Meatford. Well, I'm kind of black too. So right. I'm like. <laughs> from the waist down. What the what was it? They got cameras in the washroom, yo. Yo, watch the cameras in the washroom. Watch the water. <laughs> but, yo. All right, yo. So this is Blue Skies, Kush Clouds. My ah. special guest, Jay Don. Fuck that guy. Raw Dog. Jay Don, fuck that guy. Raw Dog exposed. Yes, sir. Yo. Always gonna give us big shout outs. Oh. What's his Twitter? Okay. So, yo, his Twitter is at... J Don R D E. J Don R D E. Hashtag J Don fuck that guy. <laughs> You're not allowed to tweet me unless you put fuck that guy. <laughs> Hashtag J Don. Oh no no. I used fuck to put the at sign, but that. That's how nice I was eh? in the beginning when I tried to start the J Don fuck that guy thing. I did F at C K because I didn't want to put swearing because I got like people on my page that I didn't want to keep saying J Don fuck that guy. So I put the at sign because I thought that made it better. But then I was like, yo. That shit doesn't even trend. Because once you put the ad, it's like you're following someone called Cook That Guy. To cook that guy. Because that ad. Fuck the guy. That guy. So, yeah. Make sure you put the, the U when you spell fuck. I'm sure we all know how to do that. Absolutely. Because I don't want some fuck that guy to keep writing complaining to me. Yo, follow him on Twitter. <laughs> uh, his Facebook. And is... no, I'm not, I'm not a douche. I'm not, this is one thing I actually have to say. I can't follow you back. Twitters are assholes. I have to wait till I have 2,000 followers before I can follow people. They ban me. For like months, months. I'm at 1,800 followers. I've been trying so hard to get to 2,000 because I have people like, yo, fuck you. You don't want to follow me. And I'm like, it's not my fault. So if you're going to follow me, don't hate me because I can't follow you back yet because I want to. Fuck Twitter. Sorry, I just had to say that because I've been waiting. And Facebook too because they ban me all the time. See, Twitter's my shit. Twitter is my shit. Did they ban you? No, they never banned me think you and twitter you know like that's cool again you know what i mean like they banned me like banned me like they don't even want to talk to me it's, it's not called like, a help center if i can't get through to you assholes <laughs> yo for real though like i got people mad at me because i won't follow them bro like not not like oh yeah jade i fuck that guy like yo you're a fucking bitch bro and i'm like what's your problem you're not following me on twitter go get him homie <laughs> it's not my fault that's, like, my that's stuff, all i'm man. trying to say it's not so my yo fault. you know what we need 2,000 people <laughs> to I got like that J. Don link. So, come on. That man. way he can start following people. Follow me on Twitter. You got it. I just got to get to 2,000. This ain't no fucking thing just to get to 2,000. I can go buy 2,000 followers. Absolutely. No, I, I'm just saying, follow me, please. Real people. Because I want to follow you back. <laughs> I'm a stalker. <laughs> so, yo. Facebook is J. Don 83. J. Don 83. That's it. J. Don 83. 83. Just remember that the shit. Year I was born. Facebook.com slash Jadon. Jadon83. Yeah. That's me. That's him. Better hurry up, though, because I'm almost at 5,000 friends. So Get him. Supposedly that means something when you get to 5,000. I've been. It's kind of like sitting at the, the popular table at like a mental institution. With your nuts on the table. With your nuts on the table. Going to... <laughs> <laughs> yo. Get it, though. <laughs> Peace, yo. This is Kush McLeod signing off. Raw Dog R D E on YouTube. We'll type it in the thing. Bob Bob. Peace.